Uh, All right, lady, it is time for new products. You ready? Is it time? Let's do this. New. All right. So and sometimes I want to keep it minimal. We're going to, we're going to kick it off a little different. So, um, this company did these cool videos with you and I have to show them. So there are products. Yeah, go for so it. they're very short. I'm just going to show them real quick. Check this out. Bam. All right. And uh, if you want to see more Lady Ada Kung Fu grip punching action, we got another one. Ow. All right, glad you're working out. I will say, it, it gets funny because it's like I only, there's like two photos of me, but they're like used for everything. They, they are, the Psi 7021 and the CP2104 are pretty great chips. Cylabs makes like quality chips. Yeah. I gotta say. I like that I made that video. Bam. Okay. Not uh, the UV sensor, but everything else is really great. All right, we got some packs. Um, these are the packs we did in partnership with Arrow. Yeah, so we got an arcade pack. So we actually just redid the retro game tutorial, so it's easier than ever to no solder build a retro arcade game with six buttons and a joystick, so check that out. Comes in a box. Comes in a box. And then we have another one. We have a Times Square kit. It comes with Raspberry Pi 3, SD card, our um, 32 by 32 matrix, and a hat that drives the matrix. It does all the power stuff and it has a real time clock. So you can make a really cool um, animated Effects yeah, and all in one pack. All in one pack, really cool stuff. Also comes in a box. Also comes in a box. And uh, then there's more. And we have a camera kit. So this is not a battery powered version. It's it's a wall powered version of our um, uh, Wi-Fi uh, uh, camera mm -hmm. kit with touch screen. So you can use a touch screen and you can like uh, control it and stuff. It's a pretty cool package. Yeah, and we put all these together with Arrow, and it's just to get you started really quickly. And yeah, it's you can one use of our, our yeah, it's our it's like our popular guides in a box. Yeah, basically these are the kind of the top three guides that we have in a box. In a box. Okay, next up, battery pack. Okay, so now we're getting into real new products. I mean, those are new, but these are like new yeah, you got to punch the screen each time. Bam. Bam. Okay, this is a triple A battery holder, three times triple A battery holder with on-off switch, and it comes with a belt clip, which I really like. So we've had a couple yeah. projects where you want to make a wearable with a floor or circuit playground, you want to power with AAA batteries. I really love these because they're safer than lithium ion batteries. Um, Relive the pager days. Look, I mean, not everyone wants a lithium ion battery, you know, charging and, and dealing. So there's a, a there's a belt clip glued on the back. So you just, um, you can just glue it onto, sorry, you can clip it onto whatever you like, your backpack or your belt or whatever. And this one, Oh, this has a little screw that holds it closed. This holds uh, three AAA batteries. And we also have another version. That's right. The AA version. Yeah, you're, sure. like, you're like, what if, what if what I want if a AA, want what if I want a AA version? AA batteries. So that it, it has an easier opening front. A little JST connector. Also has a JST connector. So it works with Flora, Circuit Playground. Pretty much actually everything that doesn't have a Li Poly charger, um, you can battery you can power it up with this is it belt clip removable no it's not it's glued on i mean i can remove it you can remove it but it's not reattachable okay i won't do that then uh can you the overhead and i'll uh, i'll shut off um so yeah so this is the the triple a holder and this is the double a so double a holder is significantly larger um and it's got the on off switch on the top and it's got uh three double a battery holders so you can use it with alkaline or um Nickel metal hydrides, and then also, yeah, there's a belt clip. There's also a little, like, thing here. You can get it put on a chain, but it has a belt clip glued onto it. I don't know. I think these are very handy for when you're doing wearable <coughs> projects and you want to um, clip something on. So, like, for example, if we did the um, Circuit Playground shoe project, you would clip this on to yeah, your... Yeah, super could, handy. You could clip this onto your uh, laces. So that's that. Okay. Battery clips. These are very nice. Cable. Panel mount cables. We have two panel mount cables. Everybody loves panel mount. Uh, We have the mini USB, and we have a, th a 3.5 millimeter 
audio jack. Um, mini USB is mini USB. You know, you have the device with mini USB, you want to panel mount it. This is a little extension cord that gives you a panel mount connector. So on one end, the panel mount, um, you can probably put it up to a quarter inch thick plastic or whatever. Um, from the back, you can, you can take out the hex nut and then and attach from the back, or you can attach it from the front to a thin, you know, 0.1 inch um, thickness material. Uh, so that's that. And then on the other side, you just have your mini B. And of course, it's data and power, so you're good to go for any device. And then um, this is a panel mount um, audio stereo connector. Similar idea, extension cable, but it has this um, mounting hex nut attached to a 0.1 inch thick box panel, uh, stereo headphone or mic here, stereo headphone or mic out. It's just an adapter. Tim that Cook's top gift of this season. I actually put in the description that this is like not Tim Cook's favorite product, but whatever. I like it. It's handy. So you, you want to panel. Basically, we have almost every connector now panel mount available. Okay. Next up. It's a book. And Adventures of Minecraft. I didn't get to look through this book in detail. Fair. You ordered this. You thought, you thought this was a cool book. Yeah. Um, Adventures of Minecraft. Someone just made like an Atari in Minecraft, like a real working one. It's like one frame per every three minutes because it really works. Yeah. Um, so it's like Minecraft from it. Pi, and it's, it's kind of Raspberry Pi. It's got a lot of Raspberry Pi stuff going on here. And, um, yeah, you can use Python. Do you want to go to the uh, overhead? Mm -hmm. um, sorry. So he's got color photos, which is great. Um, there's Python code involved. It, it tells you how to, to do some basic Python in a window. Um, you know, you can use our cobbler and stuff. Yep. Hardware projects and more. Hardware projects and more. So all sorts of things, all okay. sorts of things are available for you. And uh, we're now Pi section because we have Pi products this week. So this is our Pi news as well. It is here. This is what we think is the best Pi Zero case in the world. Yay, our injection molded case. That's right. Um, yeah, hold on. And, uh, grabbing, grabbing. Okay, so we actually have two things. We have a, we have a Raspberry yeah, Pi Zero case. Yeah, we and also we have, have a camera case. We also have camera case. Okay. So I'll show all the photos, and then we'll go to the overhead. Yeah. So there's there's two things, and actually, what's funny is we got to use one mold for both. So we saved a little bit of money. So we we you know because we made made both of them at the same time. So this is the Raspberry Pi case, and it's got this removable and replaceable. So this is removable and replaceable. This little plastic piece here. So if you want to put it back. Or you want to remove it, whatever. Um, it's a basic two-part design. There's no screws. It just uh, opens up so you can, um, sorry, backwards. You put the Raspberry Pi in like so. Actually, hold on. And then the other cool thing about this is. I have is, to learn how to do this. Yeah. Sorry, you have to, you put it in this way. Like that. And yeah. then the other cool thing is, as you can tell, um, we put our designer's name on it. Yeah, Mike Dole. Designed by Mike Dole. And uh, we think that's really important. Who makes the thing? Cross nuts, put their name on it. And then yeah. you get the, the, the Pi camera. I'll show you in a second. Okay. okay so you, you, you pop your Pi Zero and you can, you can pop it right out. You can wedge it or you can pull on it. And then um, the top goes like this. And then you can attach your GPIO cable or if you have a, a bonnet or a fat like, you know, one of these, you can, um, which I'll show later, but you can just sort of pop that on top and you get plenty of clearance. So you have no problem, but it's, it's nice and protected and it's safe and it's not too expensive. Um, you can get to your SD card very easily. Yeah. Except I don't have uh, nails that can grab this. They're kind of hard to grab. Okay. So you can grab your SD card. You can plug in HDMI, micro USB, and there's a slot for the camera cable if you want to. We tried uh, to think of everything. We tried to think of everything. Um, okay, so I need to keep track of this because this is my demo for later. Okay. And then we also have this camera connector. And what's cool about the camera connector is um, it has a couple different ways you can use it. So I have it here with the camera slot. It's, it's got the camera slot, which is going into the Pi Zero case. It just shows you, like, hey, you, know, you can put the cable in. Um, similar, you know, you just pop the um, Raspberry Pi camera in. It works with any of the Raspberry Pi cameras. They're 
the same. You, know, you can't really tell the difference anyways. Uh, most people have the Pi 2 camera now. It's got these two uh, slots on the side, so you can you know, attach to something. You can uh, Velcro or zip tie something over here. And then um, there's a little pinhole here, so that there's nothing blocking the camera itself. And then on the back, we had a, a press uh, quarter inch um, tripod mount. So if you have like a, one of these small tripod mounts, you know, these Gorilla yeah, Grippies cool. or a, a selfie camera sticks or whatever, um, and they have this quarter 20 screw on them. It's not very big, but it's like, you know, it's, it's usually it's like a, about a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch. And there's a little rubber gasket. And so this screws into the back. Like so. And now you can kind of make a tripod mounted or you can attach it to something. And a lot of things that, well, we probably make a tripod actually tripod. Um, a lot of uh, camera devices have a tripod mount. And so you'll find all sorts of like, not GoPro, but like almost anything else will have a little mount that you can attach yeah. the camera. And yeah, there are GoPro. these little slots to have like yeah. a, a Velcro-y thing. There's, this is neat. Yeah, so if you want to attach it to like a, like a generic thing that doesn't have a, a, a screw attachment. Um, or of course you can just grab a quarter 20 screw from the hardware store and then you screw it into the back. Just don't screw it like so far that it pops the camera out, right? Because mm -hmm. if you do, it'll push the camera through the case. Yep. Um, so just do it until you feel the, the camera hit and then just back off a little bit and you're done. Um, but we've tested that with a bunch of these like basic small tripods and they all work really well with that. So two nice cases. Yeah. This has nothing to do with new products, but uh, Noah and Pedro sent us the, the cute little 3D uh, printed pet computer. Yeah, this is have. from two weeks ago. Yeah. Hi. This is what uh, MOSFET uses to yeah. order from Amazon. Hello. Hi. Ordering stuff. Where's my cat food? Okay, so okay. that's the, uh, that's those demos. Okay. And then, uh, the start of the show besides you tonight, and I really like this, uh, silk on this, the Adafruit speaker bonnet, and that's why they code his bonnet. Phil B. did the silk screen for this. A lovely job he did as well. This is a bonnet. So we've made Raspberry Pi hats. And Raspberry Pi hats are the same size as an A+, and they kind of fit in the little square notch crevice of a Raspberry Pi B+, Pi 2, or Pi 3. Um, and these, are, these bonnets are the same size as a Pi 0. So they work with a Pi B+, A+, um, Pi 2, Pi 3, but they're the same size as a Pi 0, and so like, What's nice is that if you have a Pi Zero and you want to have an attachment that doesn't take up much more space, it doesn't take up more space in the mounting holes or in the same location, so it's all cute. And um, so this is our first bonnet. We've designed quite a few and we'll be solely releasing them over the next couple of weeks. Um, so this is our first one, it's a speaker bonnet. So this takes our I2S digital amplifier chip and puts two on there, so you get stereo left and right. And you can just attach speakers to it, and then you run our little installer script. It runs on any version of Raspbian or whatever that you want to do. Uh, if you have like a, um, uh, a media center, you can use it with that. You can use it with um, RetroPie or whatever. Um, and it adds stereo audio out. And what's nice is it, because it doesn't go through the headphone jack, first off, you know, you don't have headphone jack on the Pi Zero. Probably ever had. Oh yeah. There is no headphone jack on the Pi Zero, so that makes it more challenging. Um, but you also don't have um, a DAC that you then have to have another amplifier for. So if you're doing a project that has speaker output or amplified audio output, this is a pretty nice way to do it. And I'm going to power this up. And then um, you have to solder on the header on the back here because it comes as a kit. And then you have a choice of the audio output. You can have the audio um, come out either this JST connector, which goes straight to our speaker kit, or you can use these terminal blocks and then connect like anything. And what's interesting, I was thinking, you don't have to use speakers. You can use, um, that's the audio. You can use uh, surface transducers. That's our music YouTube, don't, content ideas. So this is a little speaker playing audio output. So very easy, it just, it just whatever the default audio output is of your Pi, it'll come out the speakers. That's it, speaker bonnet. Boop. And just unplug it. So yeah, what's nice about it, if you use our speaker kit, 
it, um, it just plugs right in. But you can also use any other 8 ohm or 4 ohm speakers up to 3 watts. So nice and booming. So good for audio projects. I think we'll see people who, you know, when they make a little airplay speaker system or whatever, this would yeah. be a good add-on. All right. And with that, these new products.